Penny walks in, on location. She has to set up the space for a product unveil for a group of clients. Enter Microsoft HoloLens, the world's first untethered holographic computer. The device maps the room in order to construct a digital map of the space, allowing Penny to fill the room with holograms. What you see here is next-generation hand tracking. Penny moves the holograms throughout the room in real time and space. The boxes react using physics-based simulations, just like they would in the real physical world. Sorry, Penny. This may be a bad time, but the clan is on an earlier flight. <laughs> We're so not ready. Should we start to panic? Not yet. Just bring the team in, please. Windows brings spatial sound, articulated hand tracking, and Samir's own hands into VR. I can see you're hard at work, Samir, but Penny needs your help. Yeah, sure thing. Just let me check out this bunker real quick. Samir, the client is on. As per usual, your sense of timing is just awesome. Kai-san, Penny ga yonde imasu kedo. Imasu gi kutte tsuete. Kai joins the conversation as a hologram. Samir also appears as a 3D avatar, which he scanned himself using his phone. Cute. I try. So, how it's coming? It's not. This is the flagship store. It's gotta be, it's gotta be unforgettable. Yeah. Not exactly blowing my hair back. Yeah, the space is driving me nuts. All right. How about a change of scenery? Welcome to Think Club. Imagine the web of the future, where you can draw inspiration from the cloud, in three dimensions and all around you. Some inspiration, please. Namaste. These bots help them interface with businesses. This one helps them find amazing 3D assets. Inspiration comes from the most unfamiliar places. Kai uses a pen and Samir uses a specialized controller in order for them both to manipulate and design the 3D creation. The team forgets that they are not together physically as they continue collaborating on the design. Penny picks up the eyedropper to grab a color from the physical ceiling in order to make things feel more anchored. Through the conversational bot, we see a real-time translation of what Penny's client is saying. Impressive. That went well. What's been missing, of course, is the interface between the real world and the simulated world. I really felt like it was messing with my senses and taking me somewhere else. But the thing that science fiction never shows us is the set of tools, the infrastructure that gets us there. PC-based virtual reality is incredible. The graphics are amazing but it's the positional tracking that really immerses you. But what if you didn't need a PC? Bridge is a new headset designed specifically for the iPhone. With an onboard structure sensor, Bridge unlocks full inside-out positional tracking. No high-end PC, no markers, and no external cameras. Unlike existing mobile VR, where all you can do is look around, with Bridge, you'll be free to actually move. Bridge even brings the real world into view automatically helping you avoid obstacles. Oh man, this is so badass. I thought it was amazing to see a, a standard cell phone do this kind of mixed reality. Bridge comes with a Unity plugin, so you can easily upgrade your projects with these new capabilities. Plus, you can still use existing iPhone VR apps in rotation-only mode. But we didn't stop with virtual reality. Bridge can actually sense the world around you, and we use this to enable something unprecedented, full mixed reality all on an iPhone. With Bridge, you could visualize new furniture, practice keeping a garden, create a portal to anywhere in the world, or bring the world to you. You can experience the virtual and the real at the same time in a way that bridges the essential gap between the augmented reality of the past 10 years and the mixed reality experience of the next 10. To make all of this possible on the iPhone, we had to create a completely new software engine for mobile mixed reality. 
We call it Bridge Engine. We engineered Bridge Engine from the ground up to run in real time, completely on device, with no external processing. Immersive mixed reality requires a wide view of the world, so we designed a custom glass lens that doubles the iPhone's field of view. Bridge Engine fuses this view with 3D sensor data, displaying a unique image to each of your eyes. Bridge Engine is capable of powering amazing creations, like Bridget, our curious little robot companion. Bridget can already do some incredible things, like navigate around obstacles, play fetch, and even interact with real objects. We'll collaborate with the developer community to teach Bridget more about the world. In fact, we're making Bridget's high-level functions open source, and developers can use them in their own projects. Bridget, the little robot, popped up and she kind of walked around a footstool. And, and it's something that's really hard to do. I think most people probably don't realize that. Just for the ability to move from, from point A to point B, you need to know what the map looks like around you, where there are obstacles, so you can navigate around these things. And I was, I was just shocked that it worked so well. The first ideas for Bridge were sketched in 2014, and we've been obsessing over the details ever since. For example, we chose to use lightweight anodized aluminum for precision alignment of the optics. We developed a magnetic system that holds bridge securely shut yet is easily opened. And we designed a bike helmet inspired ratchet to easily adjust fit while simultaneously improving weight distribution. The industrial design is good, the optical design is good, certainly your camera is magic. The bridge headset felt like it was a product uh, five, ten years into its evolution. Join us. Get a Bridge headset. Our limited Explorer edition for developers is being assembled now and will ship in a matter of days. Here's what you'll get. A Bridge headset, complete with structure sensor, a Bluetooth controller, access to Bridge Engine and our Unity plugin, and of course, Bridget. At Occipital, we've always wanted to help shape the future of computing. Bridge is part of our effort to do just that, and it builds on everything we've done to date. We hope you'll join us on the frontier of this strange and fantastic new world. Well, yeah, I have a closing statement. I want one. How soon can I get it? <laughs> <laughs>
I just tried the Meta Development Kit and I was completely blown away. The best augmented reality heads-up display that I've experienced. There was something, something special about this experience that you can't, you can't quite articulate. I mean, you just have to do it. It's definitely here and it's definitely real. I'm emotional because I've, I've never seen a product like this since the Macintosh. I was really, 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 really impressed. It blew me away. I didn't think that this, the, the graphical look was going to be that high resolution. And it really, it's amazing. You can almost like taste it. It's great. I'm, I'm blown away, you know. That was really amazing that I could just like grab something, pull it around. The Meta 2 comes closer than anything I've seen to what I imagined that augmented reality would eventually be. To see that for the first time was, was really an extraordinary thing and truly a glimpse into the future of exploration, I think. What I just tried was so unbelievable, so much further along than anything I could have expected that it upsets me that I can't literally leave the hotel and bring this technology with me. If, if you're interested in developing for AR, like this is the device. Jump on the bandwagon and start developing. All developers should definitely come to Meta. They are the future, they are the best. Now is where you establish yourself as a pioneer for where the industry is gonna be going and uh, make a name for yourself, so. Go ahead, get the Meta, it's awesome. I think the time has come for a much more natural machine, a machine that leverages the power of neuroscience to be an extension of our senses instead of going against them. We're no longer confined by the dimensions of the screens on our desks or the rectangles in our pockets. Instead, we can have the whole world as our desktop background. If you've been thinking about developing for augmented reality, now is the time to finally make your dreams come true. Fusic's waveguide technology has been developed to provide a true augmented reality experience in a comfortable and user-friendly format. The following footage was taken by a Fusix employee in our corporate headquarters on an iPhone. The key to this technology is Fusix's proprietary waveguide optics, composed of the waveguide lenses and optical drivers in a thin form factor, small enough so it can be inserted into traditional sunglass frames. The image quality produced by our technology is a true augmented reality, wearable in everyday situations, providing a next generation of wearable computing solution. The images here are a few examples of what can be done.
paired with gesture control and other next generation applications, this technology holds the key to the future of mobile computing.